Every now and then when the road gets rough and the going gets tough and the hills are hard to climb, what God is saying to you is I got to take you through something so you'll never forget it was me who brought you up. I got to make you feel it every now and then so when you get past the emotion, you'll realize it wasn't emotion, but it was God. Let me explain to you. If you love Jesus, you can have comeback power. Every time they talk about Jesus, in my sanctified imagination, I believe that Jesus was saying to them, I'm going to the cross. I'm going to live my life, but I'm going to give it up at the cross. At the cross, where he first loved me. At the cross, where they pissed him in the side. At the cross, where they nailed him high. At the cross, where he bowed his head.
enemy belongs to God. Watch this. The enemy doesn't like your power. So every chance he gets, he's trying to put your power out. But I gotta warn you. Once you get this kind of power, once you got Holy Ghost power, once you got Jesus power, you don't have to worry about where you're going. You don't have to worry about what's before you. Because the Bible said that God be for you. Who can be against you? The Bible says all things work together. that you can't be replaced. Right. Don't you ever think because you got around that it won't get done. God's got a ram in the bush that'll bring it up. And for his will, his will must be done. I don't care who it is. Listen, listen. Don't you worry about being the only virgin in school. God's got reason. Don't you worry about everybody getting married and you can't find a husband. It ain't time yet. Don't you worry that it looks like everybody's being promoted and you're being left behind. When it's time, baby, God's going to elevate you in front of all of the masses. He's going to do it. He's going to do it. And don't 
you to worry about those that talk about you. Listen, they talked about Jesus. Listen, listen, I, I'm an expert on this one. They'll talk about you when you're doing good. And they'll talk about you when you're doing bad. Listen, they'll just talk about you. But in 1999, God did me a big favor. He delivered me from people. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So I don't preach for people. I don't dress for people. I don't work for people. Everything I do is for God. When I dress well, I say, Lord, do you like him? He said, no, I'll change it up. He said, Lord, if you want me to praise it, listen, don't you ever put on anything you can't praise God in. I'll try to shoot on and stretch it up in a minute. If you don't give it your new one, I, I can't purchase it. Listen, I don't want anything restricting me from giving God a praise. If they stretched him for you, he pierced him in the side. The Bible says blood and water came streaming down. Put a thorn, a, 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 a crown of thorn on his head. And, and he bled. Listen, listen. His sweat. I heard a, a preacher say his sweat changed places with blood. And it was blood that poured out of him. And he didn't say anything. They scourged him to death. Do you know what a scourge is? It's a whip with hooks on it. That every time they hit him and pulled back and pulled flesh from his body. And he never said a word. He was half dead. Every other person would have died. But Jesus was still alive on the cross. Having a conversation with the Lord. He asked God to forgive them. And you can't forgive them because they never paid you $20 back. He said, Lord, forgive them. They know not what they do. You know who you are. And if you know you belong to Christ, pray for those that mistreat you. Pray for those that talk about you. Pray for those that God will have your sin. That's what Jesus did. Even with the thieves on the cross, it was the thief who looked over and told Jesus, he said, Jesus, remember me. After he had to shut down his partner. The partner was trying to get a hook up. He said, yeah, if, you, if you're the Messiah, get yourself down and take me with you. Stop trying to get a hook up and find Jesus for yourself. Stop riding on somebody else's blessing and let God bless you. How can you do that? You got to have relationship. The other thief looked over and he said, Jesus, remember me. When you enter into your kingdom, remember me. Listen, he said, remember Jesus didn't need to remember. He made a full statement. He said, today, you are with me in paradise. Does anybody know that you are the owner of paradise? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Right here on earth. Listen, he said, as it is in heaven, so as it is right here on earth. 